video, I'm going to be building a monument to one of my subscribers. That being that subscriber being Hut CS3365. And I'm going to be building uh, in this video uh, a little bit different than what I've typically done. I'm going to be building some ancient ruins in this plot here, and I'm quite a bit uh, well, not quite a bit. I'm this direction uh, from the uh, the city of Thelonia, which is over there, and I suppose that means if the sun is rising, I am south southwest of uh, Thelonia. But anyways, going to begin building the ruins now.
The monument to Hut CS3365 is complete. And uh, these are uh, meant to be ruins that predate the uh, Sand Nation. And uh, the way that works, uh, I've mentioned before in the lore of uh, Third World. Uh, Third World is a place where uh, is essentially a world for the afterlife and uh, where people go when they die but uh, when they continue well you can I'll talk about that more later but uh, the timeline for the lore though isn't uh, doesn't start off from day one so to speak so a lot of the a lot of the nations that are going to be in the present day so to speak as far as uh, this series is concerned is going to be several tens of tens upon tens of hundreds of thousands of years set forward from a theoretical starting date of the third world so there would be kingdoms that have risen and fallen several times and so I don't know if I'm ever really going to build any ruined cities, but I do have plans to sort of incorporate the idea of uh, other towns and cities that are built over ruined cities and that sort of thing. But uh, I decided to go with that for go that route for this uh, monument. And I'm sorry if uh, I'm hard to understand right now. I'm a little bit sick. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, thank you for subscribing, HutCS3365. I hope that's how you intended that to be pronounced. But to be honest, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, as is a lot of YouTube usernames. But anyways, there will be more. Oh, actually, uh, off-camera work. I'll just cut to me going back to uh, Thelonia. And I've done uh, more harvesting of uh, colored wool, particularly aiming to get more yellow and green wool, but as a result I also collected a lot of red and blue. And uh, Sam is Gamer LM, uh, MLG uh, brought a interesting point of something I never really thought of. I think I might have thought about it once or twice, but I'm not sure. But uh, you recommended that I should build a, uh, a banner or a flag for the Sand Nation, and he thought it should use yellow and green, and I'm thinking it probably will. But uh, I meant to do, I meant to build two banners on uh, the barracks here. I was off camera work, but I sort of forgot about that. And as usual, I did a lot of harvesting of uh, other materials other than just uh, the wool. I gathered some sandstone. That's basically it for now. Uh, the next thing I'm probably going to work on is going to be uh, some sort of indoor farm system. It might even be a dark room harvester, though I don't know if I want to do that because that would incorporate, that would require using. Uh, glowstone lamps, which I don't even have access to at this point. I haven't built another portal yet. Anyways, thanks for watching, and there'll be more videos.